course this morning I'm going to be having some salmon and some guacamole sandwich and I'm gonna have like a side of fruits I'm gonna show you guys of course how I'm going to make that after the gym I like to ensure that I have some protein in my system right now I don't have any milk so I'm not gonna make any protein shake so I'm just gonna dive in and make um, this for breakfast so it's a little bit warm inside the house now so I didn't put bread in the fridge just so it stay a little bit longer but the bread is kind of cold at the moment so i'm just gonna warm it up in the microwave for a couple of seconds just so it's a bit warm and kind of soften up a little bit this is such an easy breakfast to make guys so if you guys ever want something easy to make for breakfast but it's also delicious this is something that you can, um, of course, try as well. I'm basically using just the guacamole from the shop. I got this one at Little, and you can use avocado as well. It's fine. I just find that sometimes when I have the avocado in the fridge, it either spoils too quick or it's not the best, to be fair. So it's hard sometimes to get that really, really good guacamole because it's even too hard sometimes or it's, it's just annoying. So the guacamole is nice. All the times you have to just bear in mind that it's a little bit salt. And the salmon that I'm using is just some smoked salmon. And again, I just got this one from Little. I'm just going to sprinkle some black pepper and some lemon juice as well. breakfast ready so I'm gonna have breakfast guys this is delicious I've had it many times um, I love having this breakfast let me just taste a piece mm. this is good and the lemon definitely give it a really nice taste so it is around 2 32 now and it's time for me to have some lunch. It's a late lunch, but we're gonna have lunch regardless of the time. I got caught up um, into doing stuff. So for lunch, I'm going to be having fried fish. So I made some fried fish yesterday. So I'm gonna have this fried fish and I also made some dumplings. Some fried dumplings, which I'm going to just warm up. And, ooh. Yeah, so also I also made some fried dumplings, which I'm going to just warm up and have with the fried fish as well. I'm going to be eating this for lunch, and I'm going to do some vegetables on the side. <laughs> some coleslaw which is gonna expire soon the 16th of August next Monday so I'm just gonna finish this instead of make some other veg I'm just gonna have the coleslaw on the side with the fried fish so this should be a yummy lunch I'm excited I haven't tried the fried fish yet um, because I made fried fish and steam fish yesterday and I ended up just eating the steam fish so I'm having the fried fish today lunch is served honey so like i said i'm just having some fried dumpling fried fish some coleslaw and i'm having a glass of apple juice So 
for dinner I am not cooking I have some food that I got from farm so I'm gonna have roast fish today and I tried the roast fish out of the fridge I'm gonna have roast fish some couscous a side of coleslaw and veg that's what I'm gonna be having for dinner today so this should be yummy I'm very excited First, I think I'm gonna warm up the fish and then have a warm up the couscous. I'm so excited about this fish. I can't say when last I have some roast fish. This should go down really, really well. So this needs to warm up properly. So I'm gonna put that in the oven, not the oven. I'm gonna put that in the microwave and kind of get that warm up properly. all the posts about this is what I have this is the sea servings and also the vegetables this is what the veggie looks like which is very nice and the couscous this is what the couscous looks like so I'm gonna have like a bit of each and I'm just gonna have dinner with a glass of water look how good this fish looks so good So excited about this. dinner is looking like really yummy so like i said i just have some roast fish i just have like a roast fish some couscous coleslaw and then a side of veg and i'm gonna have some water with dinner as well so this should definitely go down well i'm gonna just bring this to the sofa because as i eat this i know i'm gonna be knock the heck out so this is where i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna find something on the tv to watch it was lovely and now it is time for dessert um not every night i eat dessert but when i feel for something i'll have something i have a piece of cake here from my dad's birthday so i'm gonna have this for dessert and i'm just gonna make a cup of tea as well and that is what i like to do in the night normally i'll just end the night with like a cup of tea and I love to drink um, chamomile tea. It just relaxes me, it calms me down. It's a really nice tea. I love drinking it at the end of the night. Even in the day as well, I like drinking it. It just makes me feel good. And if you have like, you know, any form of anxiety or anything, I'll definitely recommend you try this as well. If you wanna calm yourself down in the night, throughout the day, in the morning, you feel kind of like anxious, the tea is really good. I'll definitely say I am a tea person. If you're not, definitely get into it. Drinking tea, it just something about it. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you like videos like this where I do like what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, maybe if that's something that you want to see, um, please leave it down in the comment section below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and also turn post notification bell on just so you don't miss a video when I upload. And thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!